This was a tough ball game, a gritty game. Nothing came easy. At bats were battles, runs were not scored easily, and there were no easy outs. Anything worth doing, though, is never easy. The UMass Low Baseball Riverhawks were winners, a hard-fought, scratch-and-claw 5-2 victory over Pace on a summery Saturday afternoon at LaLasher Park. Riverhawk freshman second baseman Pat Devlin was the hero. He has never minded getting his uniform dirty. Right back in Little League, I was always pretty much always dirty, sliding around, diving. That's just, I like to play that way, aggressive. Devlin had three hits, a double and two infield singles. He also walked once. The Tewksbury native scored three runs and drove in one as well. I just try to, when I get up there, if someone's on base, I just try to, you know, get some, put it in play, see what happens. And leading off, I just, my job's to get on base. And I pretty much just roll with that, just try to get on base. Oh, his attitude, just the way he plays, he's just so tough. He's just a tough kid physically, mentally. You know, when, when he gets on base, it just it just seems to get everybody else to re relax into their roles and makes everybody else do what they need to do instead of try to do things that they're not comfortable doing. Most notable in Devlin's busy day was an at-bat in the sixth, where he repeatedly fouled off some tough pitches with two strikes and two outs before getting an infield single, plating the Riverhawks' fifth run of the ball game. I was seeing the ball really well today. Uh, I made a few adjustments with my swing because I was struggling for a few games. And uh, I was just seeing the ball, following a few off, and I just wanted to put it in play, you know, two outs, man, on third. Just make, put the pressure on them, make them make the play. And it worked. When he put together a tremendous at-bat where he fouled off about seven, eight pitches, ten pitch at-bat, and gets an infield hit for a, for a two-out infield hit for a, for a run. And um, it's just a credit to him. He's worked hard on staying back on balls, but he's just so aggressive. Good things happen when you're aggressive. Jared Nutter Giacomo also had a big day with the bat. He went four for four with a run scored. Taylor Von Kriegenberg also had a couple of hits. Six of the team's nine starters had hits on the afternoon. But I was proud of our offense. We really manufactured some runs, scrapped away every inning, got some big, big two-out hits. And I thought, you know, top to bottom in the order, I thought we put together some pretty good ABs. On the mound, Jack Leathersitch was solid. He did not have his best stuff, but he, too, was up for the battle. A gritty performance. Nice and hot out. You know, my off-speed stuff wasn't there the first five innings, so I said to make do with my fastball, and the balls that got hit were all just letter-high fastballs, so I just had to try to keep the ball down. Leathersitch stuck with it. He went the distance. A complete game. Nine innings. He allowed two earned runs on seven hits. He walked two. He struck out six. He threw one 129 pitches en route to his sixth win of the season. It was a battle, at times a struggle. I try to keep my composure and always know that I'm going to win no matter what, so uh, you can't think negatively or negative things are going to happen. The Riverhawks are now 23-14, and 14-10 and 10 in the Northeast 10 Conference.